what I've done in the past in these instances, before I really develop negotiation skills and my script here, I would say, Hey, I would love to do this shoot. I don't know how much they're going to pay, but if it's anything over this amount, I'm in, you don't even need to reach out to me. And that let my agent know like, okay, they'll do the negotiation, try to get things going. And sometimes I had shoots where it would work out well over that minimum rate. And I'm, I'm very happy. And other times my agent would call me and say, Hey, they are saying this, it's a little bit below your rate. This is another one to write down. And I'll sit there and think about it and go, okay, it's going to be a dream shoot. I'll have a blast doing it. I'm not busy that day. I'm not booked. I don't have anything pending. I'll take it. Let's do it. I'll do the shoot. Ah, got it. Most times though, most times pass it to the agent, give them the minimum and they end up coming back. I mean, I have a killer, I have a killer set of agents. So that, that helps, but they come back actually getting me more money for the job. And that's fantastic. I didn't have to, to negotiate or struggle or lose the deal because I'm sucky at negotiation and I didn't have a script at the time. So if you're bad at it, if you don't have the script, just pass it off to your agent. All right. If you want to work on your negotiation skills, which I absolutely encourage you to do, because this is how I've been able to raise my rates year over year over year over year, and you should too.